Welcome back to The Rustic Wife. I'm Alana. We are in the berry patch today. We're picking some berries for the freezer and for jam. You can see over my shoulder there. I've got my husband helping me today. So um, I've just picked a six quart basket. So I just came back to the truck to get another one and we'll head back out. All right, here's my row I've been picking at. You can see my basket here. And let's take a minute to appreciate these baskets. I always have to pick strawberries in these because it's old school. I picked these up at a yard sale from an older fella and I use them every year. I do have some that were my grandma's too. So I just like a little bit of nostalgia when I'm picking berries. Beautiful. So there we go, we have 24 quarts. I think it took us about half an hour to pick all of these. They're just beautiful. So we'll head home and we'll process them. So we got our berries picked for the day and we're just gonna head to the little hut and pay for them. They were $3 a quart to pick your own. So I think that's pretty good because I saw them for sale at the store for $8 for Ontario strawberries. So, which isn't bad because someone has to do the labor of picking them and then the store has to make a little bit of money too. So we always like to pick our own. This is the little stand. You can buy them pre-picked or you can pick your own. Okay, I'm back home now and Isabel and I are going to be processing these berries now. We'll wash them off, put some in freezer bags, keep some fresh, and then make some jam. God, Odie's sitting on my arm. She's trying to sneak in. Oh, Odie, nope, out of the house. Oh. 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 You helping? You know, the pail that you're using for the um, tops is actually from um, an old chamber pot. I just... So we have all of our strawberries washed and I've put some in mason jars. I've heard that if you put strawberries in mason jars and store them in the fridge, they're supposed to stay fresh for a couple of weeks. I hope that is the case because um, I just like to have some on yogurt or ice cream or have some fresh ones for pies. Um, we've also put some in the Ziploc bags for smoothies for the winter or again pies or crisps. and. Then I also have some of these. I'm just about to make some jam. Isabel loves freezer jam, so we'll do three batches of freezer jam. And the leftover, I will either put them in more of those Ziploc bags, or I might make a strawberry rhubarb crisp tonight, if I have enough time. For the freezer jam that I make, I use a blender. Um, we don't like a lot of lumps in our freezer jam, especially Isabel doesn't, and this is her favorite. So I just puree my berries until I get two and a half cups. And then I have three and a half cups of sugar. And I also have one packet of the Serto pectin crystals and you can use liquid. Three and a half cups is a lot of sugar. 
but the original recipe calls for four cups of sugar and two cups of berries. In mine, I do two and a half cups of berries and three and a half cups of sugar. Not a big reduction in sugar, but if you don't use a specified amount, it, it won't set very well, but that'll be okay because it's like strawberry sauce, so it all tastes good. Because I'm making three batches, I've got three bowls here, and I'm just going to add the puree and then the sugar and let that sit for about 10 minutes, but I'll puree all the berries first. Next, I'm gonna add the sugar all at once, and I'm just gonna stir this around and until it's all incorporated, and then I will let it sit for 10 minutes. Now, because I'm using a powdered pectin mix, I need to add three quarters of a cup of water. So I have this over a fairly high heat, and I'm gonna stir it constantly, and when it starts to boil, um, I'll set the timer for one minute, and again, stirring constantly, and then I will add that to the strawberry puree sugar mixture. So next you add the hot pectin to the sugar berry mixture, and then you're gonna stand here, or Isabel's gonna stand here and stir it for 10 minutes. What? <laughs> 10 minutes. Remember the old ant and the grasshopper story? Remember that one? I don't like you right now. <laughs> now because I freeze my jam in glass jars, I'm only gonna fill it up to about right there. I don't want to fill it right up to the top in case there's expansion and then it might crack the jar. Just to about there. There we go, we have 15 jars of the freezer jam for Isabel. It's starting to set up. So all I need to do is just get lids for them. It's been about three hours since I made this jam and I'll, I'll let it sit on the counter overnight and then I'll put it in the freezer tomorrow. But you can see that it's already set up nicely. The bigger ones there. So I'm just going to show you the set of this jam. It's perfect. Really good on tea biscuits and toast and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Also, I used to love this jam. Just put on regular soda biscuits. So the jam's done. We have strawberries in the freezer and some in the fridge. I also have those left over, but I'm going to put I'm going to put those in Ziploc bags. I don't have time to make the crisp tonight, but I'll make one tomorrow. Tonight we'll just have to settle for strawberries on ice cream. Thanks a lot for coming along today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing and I'll see you again next time.